Okay, welcome, 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 welcome back. So today let's talk about travel paintbrushes. Uh, I've got a few of them here and these are commonly called uh, water brushes. And they're called that because in the body of the brush here obviously is a water well. And uh, the pen or the brush, I'm sorry, seemingly holds all of the water that you're gonna need as you're out on location and it does a fair job of that but it comes with a few drawbacks gives us a few things to look forward to but a few drawbacks as well so I've got here uh, two Pentel brushes the tops just pull off these two are slightly different size uh, this is a large one a medium one and I have to assume I've got a small one somewhere that probably my daughter has stolen or something like that uh, and we'll get into how good or bad these Pentel ones are in just a second but these are Pentel they make the ones that have a, a wider body on here I guess to let it hold just a little bit more water all right these ones are uh, Kiritake uh, water brushes I've got a larger one and a medium one and again I don't know where my small one is or my fine tipped one is. Uh, I would assume it's in the paint drawer that a little girl has um, and that's fine but these ones are a little bit longer they sell these also that are a little bit shorter the same company uh, they just hold a little bit a little less water they're exactly the same as uh, the Pentels exactly the same as these over here they screw apart there's a little sponge in the in the head of it here just before the bristles and you give it a little squeeze the water comes out uh, and I don't know what I paid for these I think 10 bucks or so for that set and probably 15 for this set and then I was putting together a really light travel pack and I saw these on eBay and it took me a while to get them here they get shipped from China but I got these for a dollar and a half or something like that and uh, they work just as well as these ones from everything I can tell actually I kind of like these a little bit better other than the fact that they are quite a bit smaller um, but let's get into uh, our painting of these a little bit so let's grab a, a travel kit here we'll just grab one of these brushes so to use these we just I'm hoping you can see it. Uh, give a squeeze, some water is going to come out, and then use that to get the paint that we want. Let me see if I can zoom in for you just a little bit. There we go. And then we can use these to paint with. And as long as we continue to just barely press on the barrel of this we can continue to get water out and we can take that little bit of color that we had gotten there and stretch that out a long long way almost all the way down the paper see now I've zoomed in too much and that will stay nice and wet for us for a long time then of course we could go in and we could do the same thing get another um, bit of paint and just continue to pull that down the entire way of whatever we're painting so you could use these to paint even though this is the middle sized one you could use that to paint it's cover a lot of area just by ever so slightly uh, pushing on the barrel with I do it with my thumb as, I, as I'm going along now I do still tend to rinse these out um, I'm pretty light with my thumb when I use these and how I use them mostly is just to keep my paints wet here I often find that if I'm painting out on location I'll take a brush right a standard brush like this I'll get it wet I'll paint something I'll go to get 
my next batch of paint and everything's dried up again. I've got to re-wet that. And it dries pretty quickly when you're sitting in the sun doing whatever. Um, I, this With this, I can just inject a little extra water in here. And then I can meter it out on my paper the best I want. Or however I want. Um, but I did find with the Pentel ones that with the larger size, no matter what I do, this one automatically drips on me. There's nothing I can do to stop that. I don't know if it's because the inside of this is so large, it lets out a bigger drop of water, but I can't, it's hard for me to paint with this one because it's so, it's so wet. But the medium sized one, I really like. It comes down to a nice point. I hope you can see the point. Let me see if I can put it over something like that. It comes down to a nice point. If you need to get into a tight little area, you can really get it up there and get a nice point. And this one and the smaller one don't drip uh, very badly at all. Um, so they're pretty good. I like those. So here we are with the, the Kiritake ones. And the same thing goes with these. I'll just grab that one. You give a little squeeze. Some water comes out. You've, in essence, primed the system. Looks like I've got a stray hair that's bent all up on this one. Let's get, I don't know, let's get some green on here. And just as you're wetting your um, paint, let me see if i got some water in here. You can just give a little squeeze with, between your thumb and finger, just like that. And the same thing goes with these ones. You can just meter that water out however you want. And you could pull that all the way down. You can, you can get that as thin as you want, right, as you're doing this. Now you could also do it this way. You could, you could mix something fairly thick here on your palette, give a little squirt of water or a little squeeze and it will really thin that down for you. And then you can you can go from there. And then you've got a nice little puddle here that started out fairly thick. And uh, as it dries, you can continue to go back to it and, uh, and get it as you need. Now these ones don't come to quite the as nice a point. Oh, as the Pentels. Right, the Pentels have a really nice sharp point. The Kiritake ones, I don't know if you can see that. Let's try this. Slide everything over. Zoop. The, uh, the Kiritake ones, not quite as nice a point as the Pentel. They really come to a sharp point. Um, so if you're doing something where you think you're going to have a lot of detail and you need to do something fairly small, the Pentels are going to be better for you. And then these ones that I found, I'm really happy about these ones. Uh, again, they come in the, the smaller size, the medium size, and a larger size. But I found that even with the larger size, it comes to a great point. It's still nice and uh, wet. It allows a, a lot of water in there to get through, but not too much. With these ones, I haven't had the problem of too much water dripping out. In fact, I have to squeeze kind of hard to get the water out of this one. It just it doesn't want to come out quite as readily. And you can see I'm having trouble with these ones pulling that water down far enough to get it down there. Now I've got some out and I can pull it down that way. There we go. But um, they just don't seem, they have a harder case back here. Uh, and maybe I just can't squeeze it nearly as well as these pen towels that have a really soft case on them. But <clears throat> I, I, I started using these and I think these are fantastic. Um, and again, like I said, I bought them for, you know, not much, a little over a buck um, from China, thinking, oh, they'll just be the perfect size to toss into uh, a pack 
uh, you know, my, my uh, travel pack, and I don't know, I, <laughs> I almost wanted to paint in the studio with them for a while because they were so nice. And with this little one, you can really get some nice fine lines on there. That's probably even so skinny you can't see it. There it is. If you needed to, you could just really, you know, make some nice skinny lines like that. Um, and you can, of course, lay it flat. And if you need to get a nice gradient in there, you can do that with it. Oops, I forgot to zoom out there a little bit. So I was saying, if you wanted to, you could do this. You could lay a little bit of water down. <clears throat> uh, and because it, it gives you just that little bit extra of water, it's going to give your paints that little extra time to flow. Right? Um, so I don't know. I'm a big fan of these little ones. I, I wish I could tell you what company it was that I bought them from. I don't know, but I know that many, many, many uh, companies make these little ones like this. And uh, I don't know, I think these ones are great. Uh, and then, whoa, you know, in comparison, um, you know, you're taking a normal brush like this. Let me try it this way. And you're trying to pull your color down. You get to there and then you've got to add a little bit of water to it so that you can keep going. And you get to about there and your paints are dry. And you just got to keep going. Right? So these are fine. If I were in the studio painting, uh, I would just grab a bigger brush, put more paint on and pull it down, and it wouldn't be a problem. But when you're traveling, when you're out and about, you don't have necessarily have that luxury. Space is, you know, a, a, a vital commodity for you. So I would give these a try. Personal, my personal opinion, I would stay away from these Pentel ones. They are fairly cheap. Um, like I said, I, a little over 10 bucks, and I bought a pack of three of them. These Kiritake ones, a little bit more expensive, but I like them better than the Pentels. Uh, although they do come with the caveat that they don't have quite as fine a point. And then these ones that are cheap, the little ones like this, I, I think are outstanding. So there you go. My little review of what some water brushes can do for you when you are out and about on location painting with your favorite uh, paint kit um, and that's it so I hope you enjoyed that little video about water brushes um, give a like to the video if you like it subscribe to my channel I would love to see you back here again and uh, we'll see you next time thanks a lot